Uh, let's have some more Sam Howell discussions. We have Carolina Blue all over that screen. <laughs> Kanani Stevens <laughs> has our crew. Candace Cooper, Locked On ACC, is back with us, and Isaac Shade from Locked On Tar Heels. We had this conversation planned for yesterday, I think, but, you know, obviously <laughs> things didn't go the way we thought, so we'll talk about it now. Sam Howell's finally off the board, um, going to Washington. What kind of fit do you see there, Isaac? We talked about this slide for him, but is he going to do okay there? Yeah, absolutely. Man, you're not even kidding. After the fourth round ended, I went and got in a kayak in my backyard. That's why my hair's wet right now. I was like, Sam Howell, it's going to be forever. What are we doing? But uh, listen, I think this is a great spot for Sam Howell. He could come in under Carson Wentz, uh, a seasoned veteran himself, somebody who's going to be willing to work uh, with him. He gets to be reunited with one of his wide receivers from Carolina in Yami Brown. That's a great win. Here's the other thing. Sam Howell came in and he won the job at Carolina his freshman year precisely because of his preparation and what a consummate professional he is. And, and I'm not saying he's going to take over for Carson Wentz day one, but you think about Carson Wentz's injury history, you got to be ready at any moment to step onto that field and be ready to lead this team. And because Sam Howell is a professional, because he has had these years in a system of doing things and showing that he is a leader, he can be ready to step in and go whenever called upon. Candace, we talked a little bit about that slide earlier. Obviously, if he had gone out maybe last year, he's talking, you know, maybe the first quarterback off the board, right? So what kind of mentality does he have to be able to come back and then, you know, get drafted maybe later than we expected, but come in there and kind of fight for a job? Yeah, absolutely. I definitely think this is where Sam Howell's villain origin story begins. I think he is someone who <laughs> loves to be doubted, right? I think he's someone who loves for people to just talk all that noise, and then he comes up and delivers. And being in a place like North Carolina where – it's not football heavy school, right? But you still have some really great players and a lot of good talent. And like Isaac mentioned, Deami Brown is definitely one that he connected with plenty of times. And so I think we're going to see a lot of that again. And Carson Wentz is someone who is not Mr. Reliable. So he can have Sam really fighting for an opportunity there first couple weeks in. And I think he will absolutely be prepared to go. And it might be one of those situations where he comes in and takes over and he never loses that spot. We love a good story, so maybe this is the motivation he needs. Isaac, we'll let you get back to the kayaking in the backyard. The rest of us are going to roll through the rest of these picks. Every single one we're here on Locked On Podcast. Check out Locked On ACC, Locked On Tar Heels for more on Sam Howell later today.